Why, hello everybody, and welcome to Salmon Max Save the World. We had done episode one, and um, that was an independent game. Uh, this is the same episodic, but it's the remaster. And so uh, we're going to pick up, we're, we're going to try and pick up where we left off. Uh, okay, yeah, so I can just skip episode one, which we did. Oh, nice. Thank you, Etherin Hunt. Much appreciated on the 69 bids. But we're going to jump to sec uh, uh, episode two. But yeah, uh, one thing I did uh, think about playing at some point was World of Tanks. Because, you know, people can do drops, um, do platooning. Uh, you know, one thing I even considered, but, you know, now that we have, like, enough people in, like, the Ox, uh, we could do a, I mean, I've done enough, like, oh, God, uh, it, yeah, it, it's a big down, it's, like, over 100 gigs, it's a big game now, it, uh, I considered making a clan in, uh, uh, World of Tanks, I've done enough clan wars to have a decent idea well, a lot of it's probably outdated now. The meta always changes in that game. So, you know, it, I, I just don't know what type of interest people would want. It, it's an old game. It still gets a lot of updates, but, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Like I said, I mean, if people want to uh, have some interest in it, you know, I like... I like it better than War Thunder in some aspects. There are some things I absolutely love about War Thunder. Um, I think the the tank physics and things are a bit better. Uh, I think the plane combat is a lot easier. Uh, the downside is is that War Thunder has an absolutely trash UI. It it is not player you know friendly. Uh, it's not intuitive. Like, you really have to try, and it's just, it it's always bugged the absolute living hell out of me to the point where, like, I just don't play it because uh, War Thunder's UI is garbage. Um, the, the, the garage is just terrible, and I don't like it. Never liked it. Um, actually, I take that back. The early one they had wasn't terrible, but then it slowly just kept getting worse and worse. I'm just like, I don't even, I don't even know what the hell they're doing anymore. Well, the tank's garage has always been very friendly and very user-friendly. You cl click, you press, you go. You know, it has everything easily laid out, and so, you know, th that's my critique. And that's one of the reasons why I picked World of Tanks over War Thunder. That, and I played World of Tanks first. Yeah, <laughs> well, World of Tanks did uh, that first. They actually leaked some classified stuff, and then World of Thunder came out and just... Now they're just leaking all the classified documents. Just absolutely hilarious. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll click start on episode two, though. Uh, so Clan Wars is competitive play. Uh, basically, you... Um, your guild versus other guilds, and you fight each other. But it requires commitment. Like, people have to show up every night. People have to do battles every night. Uh, it, it's like, it's not, you know, it, money is on the line. You start playing for, for premium gold, and that premium gold is a currency, which can buy premium time, uh, can buy premium tanks. Um, and then it can put you in the running for actually, like, actual tournaments for, like, real, real money, which I've done. Um tournaments where like you know you can play for a thousand dollars all the way up to get into the big tournaments where like the grand prize a hundred thousand dollars for like the really competitive people yeah correct you'd need a u.s client um a as we can see this is quite a bit easier than the oh my gosh no max sam Bosco Tech. Do you feel lucky, punk? Well, I got it! Ah! I got it! <laughs> <laughs> Tear gas. Hello. Yes? Yes? 
sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Could you imagine that? Backstroking and Girl butterscotch. Scouts again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Stiller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. No, I don't not normally endorse gifts. the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. Ah, uh, yes. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. Yeah, right there, that's Kerbal. Nothing useful in here. How ironic! Hubert doesn't look so hot, Max. He doesn't look any worse than he did two months ago. Got me there. These donuts must be three months old. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. Hello? Jerk! Why, thank you. Welcome back, America, to day three and a half of my most special episode ever. You don't want to miss any of our exciting guests coming up this hour. You don't say. Everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer. Oh my, non-dairy non creamer. creamer. We need sleep. Oh, I see. You were all thrilled when I gave you cars, then all expense paid vacations, and then home entertainment centers. But now, after I worked so hard uh -huh, and sacrificed uh -huh. so much, you'd rather sleep. It's all about you, isn't it? It is, it is, it really I is. Do is good enough for you. Maybe, maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer someday. That's more like it. You see, there's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a sloucher. Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well-adjusted. Ah, uh, yes, a dastard. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. <laughs> Anybody home? Guess not. Anything in there? Oh, what is this? Ah, Brady, Brady cultures, cultures hair. hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. <laughs> What does a sick wallaby sound like? Wouldn't you like to know? Probably something like... Mr. Spatula's looking good today. Isn't he plastic? Alright, alright. Most of these lines he've heard, so let's, uh... Let's go on. Mad with power! What do we got here? About the big gun. Yeah. Oh. Fine. Run! Haha. <laughs> well, we might as well talk to Bosco because, you know, why not? What so? Samuel! Maximilian! What the? Oh, <laughs> you're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst. It's me, Bosco. Oh, I didn't know. Jeez. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. Mm, ass Who distinction. The devil? Surely you jest. I just knocked. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Tcha! Piffle! Piss posh! What's ha. with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? <laughs> I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rumplebottom Sam, Dukedom. what language is he speaking? I'm A lot not of poop. sure, Max, but I think it might be English. Yes. 
<laughs> English, yes. Uh, the the over the seas English. No, really. What made you convert to British? Everybody's got it in for me. That's why. Yeah, we heard. Well, I had to get a disguise to throw them off the trail. <laughs> They'll never find me now. Brilliant. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. It's true. Clever Neither would I. Logs. What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? Bedeviling. It's the skin bodies, man. Bedeviled eggs. They're after me. Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Oh, no. The skin bodies are like those horrible hairless cats, but ten times worse. Sure they're not a hundred times worse? Yeah. Maybe a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, maybe Tiny a Tina. Uh, would name her bomb. Absolutely. These skin bodies, what exactly are they doing to you? Uh, they're still in my... I mean, pinching my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? It's true. So they can shave their bodies, of course. Of course. Makes perfect sense. Not to be rude, but why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. Really? So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from b -tads. Meaning nothing's stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. <laughs> Dash it all! I knew I forgot something. Oh, pish posh! We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Quite so, quite so. What have you got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the Blooming Skin Bodies haven't gotten yet. Brilliant! Ooh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. Naturally. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. Oh, go on. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. It is not. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, he has a point. it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We I'll like take that it. voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Uh, let's see. Uh, 30 shillings would be about one million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Oh, what? Worth every shilling. Trust me. That's a Trust lot of me. shillings. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be one million American dollars. We'll be back later once we find a way to become millionaires. Yeah, yeah. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffing. Tickety-boo. Just bring it to the counter. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Mm -hmm. Nope. Do you have any fine leather jackets? Nope. I could use a fine leather jacket. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? Nope. Could you imagine that? Like, the only way you could, like, bite into that would be to, like, cut it. Do you have any plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? Nope. Let's see. Plus two plate armor of limited squeezability. What exactly would that mean? Well, what that would mean to me is you have plate armor, which also mixes, like, dust of dryness. If you don't know what Dust of Dryness does, you might want to look it up. It's quite magical. Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? No, but Tex nope. does. Do you have any ketchup? Nope. Oh, wait. Got you. Blast. Drat. Dash it all. Do you <laughs> have any complimentary fresh garlic? Ah, oh, now nope. it's starting over again. Never Nothing mind. for us right now. Indeed. Uh, well, we got to go win a million dollars. Thanks, Bosco. Pip, pip. Honey nut Cheerio! Oh, yeah, I can just steal this. I cannon. could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Just like Diggs. Pause off, pig! Dog! Pig dog! The skin bodies rule the streets! Wow. <laughs> That's a naked mole rat. Blast! Bugger! Blind! Bollocks! The little blinded did it again! After him! I mean! Tally ho! ho!
Tally ho! Okay. Um, I'll get him. I mean, I'm not gonna rush, though. Let's go. Uh, uh. Oh, wait. Wait, what the... What do you mean I can't shoot it? Just allow me to shoot. All right, all right. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. You little. Maybe we'll just run him down. Alright, well, we'll stop by Sybil's. Before we run those little, uh, skin bodies down on the car. Just squish them flat. Oh, my. Look at a mimograph. This appears to be some sort of reproductive device. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. Alright, let's talk Sam, Sybil. Max, how nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Yes. By which I mean, huh? It's my new career! Oh, yes. I'm a tabloid yes. publisher mm -hmm. specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. Yeah, we have some screenshots of XCOM. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much and about both. And Publishing the, the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. It's true. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. Okay. Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows your clientele quite a bit. No, not really. How about a quick analysis, for old times sake? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. Two. You're selectively audio-averse. I don't like the sound of that. How about another quick analysis? Oh, all right. Okay. Think of a number between one and four. Uh... Three and a half. You have boundless apirophobia. What's that? The usual. Okay. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, alien. caught getting cozy with some and of the I love you. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Well, we'll be Me here too. with a Digiman like 619. It. Hopefully you'll enjoy the VOD. Sorry your internet is uh, shiting the biscuit as they like to say in uh, other places. There's nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it. It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what did those poor cattle do to deserve that? No. <laughs> what do aliens do for romance? Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? You know the answer. slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. What, what, what do aliens do? They probe people anally. There, there's no question on this. That's how they get their kicks. Have you learned anything interesting since you started this, uh, magazine? I learned why Elvis had such an otherworldly voice. Elvis was not an alien. Sure he was. He just wore makeup to cover his emerald green skin. Frankly, Sybil, this project is disturbing, as well as distressingly intimate. Like seeing Stephen King getting a hot butter massage. <laughs> oh, you saw last week's issue. <laughs> Uh, Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Hot Dr. Massage. Phil. Well, that goes without saying. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. God bless America. How about another quick analysis? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. One. You're harboring feelings of guilt over previous feelings of remorse. That's so true. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. Oh, we'll be watching, all right. She's got a story here about two hygienists from Walla Walla and an amorphous Saturnian slime mold. 
Is that the one where they walk into a bar at the beginning? It well, is. Dramat, but you're close. <sighs> is this the kind with aloe in the sheets for extra softness? No, aloe would keep us the... Actually, some of my therapy patients used to get a little rowdy. All right. Well, uh, that's even better. <laughs> Hey, little moo cow. All right, well. Hey, you're fogging my glasses. Quit it. We had to give her a good old fogging for old time's sake. Hey, look, the fox has the... All right, let's... Let's uh run these guys down. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Hey. After those rats. We're gonna get those rats, see? We're gonna run them over and then they're gonna go splat, see? There they are! Let's get them! How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin bodies can't be stabbed! Can't they? Oh. <laughs> Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask. Missed him. <laughs> the skin bodies can't be stabbed! Okay. Let's see here. Maybe... I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Dang, they're little reflexes. I think I have to uh, knock them into something. There we go. You nope. can't dodge my shots forever. Gotcha! The skin buddies can't be stopped. Can't they, though? Damn it. God damn it. I'll tell you what. These little rats are always caught up. The there we go. Oof. Hey, the shaving cream. Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. All right. That shows those duddy little rats, yeah. Okay. What are we gonna do with shaving cream? I guess we could, oh wait. Has been Brady culture behind bars. Secret. We finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. <laughs> Secret Cub Scout Arsenal discovered. Who goes there? Oh, it's you lot. Hello, sir. What ho, old beans? Thanks, Bosco. Doodle pip. Tickety talk. No, I guess we don't need to buy it since we, uh, uh, civil forfeiture the uh, <laughs> the shaving cream. He didn't want it back anyway. No worries, folks. No worries. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, the TV going to the, studio. To the TV Yay! studio. <laughs> Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. Excellent. WARP. Television's so mindless, you can't help WARP. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. You crack me up, little buddy. I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't. There's only one explanation for a propeller on the wall. Yes, this TV station is a giant flying battleship. Billions. Either that, or it's just a prop. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I vote for the giant <laughs> flying battleship. Uh, either one I'm Need pretty a good broom, with. little buddy? 
I don't use brooms, Sam. I necessitate the use of them. He has a point. Let's look at the director's chair. It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. I, uh, I think that's well, the well put. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. No Absolutely. wonder I haven't seen it. Scaffold? Hey, even the scaffold is just a prop. Yeah, from that show about the TV crew that solves crimes around the station using advanced forensics and overly dramatic reenactments? Come on, who ever heard of a crime at a TV station? Hey, he has a point. Who, who did? Alright, director, let's uh... Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could I fool? Number two, we're no longer holding oh. the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh, oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. You have a good Sam, night, Sam, I my think friend. my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? Oh, well, thank you for the gift sub. You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of... Do not mention that name in my presence. Okay, we Which don't name? have to. Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Where's Myra the beef? and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? That was harsh. You and Myra. Why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. <laughs> I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, uh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. That's terrible. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am terrible. I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you Midtown doing Cowboys. here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly Dicks. adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The, the two stars. main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours. Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. This is like the, uh, is the auditions for WBPL 76. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. <laughs> I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me. <laughs> and Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Aww. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog. Now, show me, rabbit. Um, grr. No, dig grr. deep. You should grr. be just frothing mad. Hmm. Brilliant! Now that's what I call <laughs> diseased. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who... Zip it. Okay, Max, oh, no. just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Come on! Really? You can do it! You're sad, you're despondent, you're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? <laughs> You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox. You know what that her. means, right? Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh. We're gonna gas him. 
<laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense it's true, spirit, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. You resemble that remark okay. when he said anyone uh -oh. can do a BBP also. No, no, no. Anyone can audition. Oh. <laughs> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. Acting. try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my head. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such, Such authenticity. authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The With a real gun! Midtown Cowboys now that's over. some BPL Your style. Head. head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. I always wanted to be, uh... Max, like uh, that's the type of friend I uh, I am is Max. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. As a lot of my Mid friends used to say, it's like away. you don't need enemies when you have friends like me. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right, the crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. All right, time to get on our acting career. Weren't you just? I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Oh, Things oh, tend oh, to be oh, hectic oh. here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Hey, Sam and Max, transport. consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you uh, guys I wielded right a hatchet, not a machete. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. Mr. Featherly, what a jerk. I begin to see jerk. from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. Yeah. Here's the script. Yeah. Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Nice, we can do that. That's what we yes, do at WBPL 76. Improvise. We improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor. Oh, Philo. Globe brilliant. Theater and all brilliant. that. Just set him up to do something funny, and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did um, save one actually... line from the script, and it's really important to work it in, because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> the serious toothpaste. There's a lot to learn with this TV business. Give me the lowdown on the show one more time. Midtown Cowboys is about two cattle oh, and no. raising a herd How do I in Manhattan skip? I didn't mean to... that has a strict No, no don't don't talk again. Oh. Your basic visual hijinks and occasional gross out humor ensue as they concoct elaborate ruses to keep their cow hidden from their landlord, Mr. A Featherly. Ruse. Sure. We're as let's, ready as we're ever gonna let's be. Just, let's just let's take start a, taping the show. Let's tape this okay, shaz spot. Your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! Action! Midtown Cowboys on Warp TV. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -bum. Open up in there! I know you're a Goodness, who now. left this lying here? <laughs> Take that. I miss the 70s when you could get away with stuff like that. Well, let's look at, oh, look at, look at, look at this wall. This could use some sprucing up. <laughs> Whatever happened to our can of spray paint? I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. Not that door. Oh, oh sorry. 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 <laughs> pardon me. Pardon me. We'll, we'll talk to old Betsy here. Hey, bossy. Oh, bossy. Ooh, look, uh... These are all the sorry. 
Who decorated this set? Hey, it's like English my uh is working for peanuts my as bookshelf. usual. Competitive horseshoe skipping is a thrilling test of accuracy, strategy, and strength. Even more so if the horses are still attached. It's Some true. Say that's the only way. How convenient. This way we can shoot a TV show about people watching a TV show. Brilliant. And if the show they're watching is the show of themselves watching, the universe could fold in on itself and explode. Oh, Best it's leave true. It turned off then. Which is why you can't uh, watch the stream of WBPL 676 Why you're streaming. Not that door. Gosh. Because we, uh, we're trying to save the universe here, and... Oh. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, window? In Manhattan, this counts as a view. It's true. If there's a leak, it counts as a water view. Alright, well, let's, uh... I don't think cows are in season. <laughs> Damn it. Let's, uh... Let's let's do this. Open arms. Oh, oh yeah. I know you've got a... Oh, for pity's sake! This will never work if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow. Cut. Oh, amateurs. I am. How dare you? <laughs> let's get the set back the way it was. I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. All right, so what what you're trying to tell me is I need to disguise the cow, which means I need something to disguise the cow with. Let's talk to Mr. What's his bucket? So I think I need to find uh Look, this Max, is the updated the version. My reset. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. Aw, uh, like I a Brady culture him. wannabe. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are <laughs> Sam and yeah, Max, we know. freelance police. Holy <gasps> shit. How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Because I do. Oh, I believe in magic, but uh, the magic of drugs. So, because he Hugh is on Bliss, all of them. What brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. Look at that face. That's drugs. How do you know we came for Myra. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh don't you see? I'm on I can all read the your game, mind. which As allows me to read the mind. Doubting Thomas of this crime fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. 6,373,411.98. Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? <laughs> Lucky guess. Think of something else. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? <laughs> Think of something else. <laughs> Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me. Do me. <laughs> oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it. Wow, you're amazing. <laughs> it's like licking into my mind. Say, you bless. Can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He, hence the camera. Now gather round. But oh, how we're gathering. Take the picture. By magic. Magic. Okay. Magic. Same chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate, chocolate covered puppies. puppies. So where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh my. 
I seem to have misplaced it. It's in his ass. Hmm. Check your pockets. No, it's in my ass. It there. <laughs> Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Ledger okay, yeah. I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, mauve. Bird sienna. Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Red, green, uh, okay. Red, Fred. Ooh, I know what you're thinking. Is it real, or is it illusion? Uh, Watcher of the Bells, how did we not feel him shoving his hand up there? Well, um, magic, yeah, absolutely. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Any color. Never mind. As you wish. We want him red. Uh, because. What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, Myra. silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. I and wrote a book, too. It's called Emetics. We're on a pretty It's all about schedule. memes. Ten words. Oh, my. How about prismatology is the answer? Unicorns are pretty and rainbows too. That's ten. Okay, yeah. Uh, Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. A situation? Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? No. <laughs> Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> okay. How well. about another picture, you Bliss? How about this? Instead of a new picture, we'll just recycle the old one. Save the Earth! Sure, whatever. Gather round! Wait, I think we need... Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss, I think we need to... Uh, okay, okay. How about another picture, Hugh uh, Bliss? Of course! Gather round! No, I changed my... Not that, I want to change your color. I challenge you to change colors again. Okay, pick a color. Elron Hubbard. Any color. Uh, it's green. not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. Magic. Ah. No, wah. Say, you Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. Now I we have a picture with an Isla oh, Mao. And in fact, I did. We can give it to Sybil. Hence the camera. Now gather round. For like one million but how dollars. Take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered puppies. puppies. As long as you're not going to put your hand in my ass so and try to make you see as a meat man? puppet again. Oh my. I seem to have misplaced it. <gasps> hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I challenge you to change colors again. We okay. want to be uh, a color. red. Any color. Red, red Fred. Oh. I know why red. Ooh. Bye. Later, Hugh. Can we like one of your books? Life troubling your digestion. Reality blocking your passages? Expel yeah. your troubles That's, with yeah. Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. I'll just stick to x mm. my friend. Already got it's all shit anyway. I read it every morning on the can. Multicolored happiness indeed. Yeah, see, they know what's up. Podium. That's where I'd stand if I were the host, which I'm not. Aww. We've got a contestant, people! Oh, Hit shit. It. 
from somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's the who's of the never war. going to be a millionaire. This is like Special somebody 40k inadvertent 40k references. That's Hi, great. I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. Da, they da, enjoy da, firing da, their da, guns randomly and police. running over things. Please welcome hey, Sam. Hey, they had me down to a peg. Car 94, Sam, you have a wonderful evening. Us. Welcome. You know the rules. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away. Well, yeah, he's magic of the warp. Start loading the armored cars, Hugh. Because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. Nice. It's true. What? Okay, Don't boo me. Are you ready? Oh, happy day! It's an easy one. Okay. If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light, and his father leaves from Rigel two at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? Um, wow, okay. I'm not sure, but I'll say false. That's not really a valid answer. You lose! Aww. This is an outrage! I demand a recount! Recount! We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss! No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. <laughs> okay! Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. Ah, maybe. That's where I'd stand if I were the host, no, no, no. which I'm not. Apparently, WARP can't afford armed guards for their game show questions. That's cheating, Sam. Good thinking. Don't get your pretty long ears out of <laughs> twist, little buddy. The answers aren't on here. In life, there are no answers, only questions. Another prismatology credo? No, I read that on a cereal box. I'm seriously deficient in riboflavin, by the way. You're riboflavin? seriously deficient, all right. Um, I am using a mouse. Nah. Nope. Well, maybe we can switch these out for something else, huh? It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. How about letting your hostages go now? Release what do the you hostages! Say? Hostages? They're my guests! You know, Use the if gun there's one that questions? buys my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo! Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park! Bah! I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. Ah, <laughs> uh, truly the most BPL of answers. Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean... Uh, may we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Shooter. I'll look at that. Your eyes look a little spirally. Are you feeling all right? Of course I am, sweetheart. By the way, when was the last time you brushed your I'll teeth? Cast and you gun. should really be flossing. You certainly sound like your normal self. But why are you keeping everybody in there? I'm just doing what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. It's mm -hmm, just, mm -hmm, after mm -hmm. opening presents from well wishes, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. Oh, jolly gay. Don't be alarmed. But Channel 33 and a third. You might be hypnotized. Don't be silly. Hypnotism is just an excuse people use today to abdicate responsibility. I hate how this country's become a bushel of Bill and Betty brainwashies. Hypnotized or not, huh. that sounds like Myra's patented blend of lovingly cutting criticism and charismatic know it all tree know it all tree I'm going to go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. 
What face? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but what a face. Like, seriously. Leave my little buddy alone. In my experience, shooting beloved happiness gurus tends to be frowned upon by the general public. Mm. Alright. So, I think what I need to do is I need to go to Sybil's, get my picture with maybe maybe we'll check some of these other doors cooking without looking bucket of lard that's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis nice or start a circus of grease squirrels i rue the day you lost your nea funding max hey this is another wbpl this 76 isn't show even a fridge it's a fake Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical cooking bachelor without kitchen, looking. containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of mm, condiments uranium and pellets. edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh. Greetings, worshipful fans. Greetings, Remember, worshipful fans. The only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do. So they let's get they right really to are. What are we saints Sam? of uh, WPPL 76. A yeah. bunch of gunk in a dish. We'll just get some ingredients from the <laughs> pack and add it to what we professionals call the yummying hod. The yummying hot. Max, we both know a pot is what you and I fight over when we play poker. This is the yummying hot. The yummying hot. No yeah. more than a dash of uranium pellets. They also go great in Chex Mix. It's true. It's true. Hmm. Asbestos. Of course, who could forget the asbestos sprinkles? <laughs> this stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it too. <laughs> uh... Um, I mean, you, you can't want to use the sulfuric acid Got sparingly. It. it can easily overwhelm the other ingredients. And your taste buds and your esophagus. Mm. Uh, do I have any lard? Uh, red Make dye. Sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. He has a point. Lard. Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. If Eat you some lard. a lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. <laughs> well said, Max. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip. Tweed isn't just for cooking. It also makes a great toupee. A pinch or two of wombat secretions. Make sure they're lightly damp to the touch. The wombats are MSG. Every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. Wonderful. A fistful of squid tentacles. A s Ooh, that's my favorite western. Yeah, it's like anime. Of course, you're anime. going to want a few dashes of hair gel. Don't worry, bachelors. As long as you use it only for cooking, no one will think you less of a man. Every meal has to include some of the standards, like monk paste. Monk Don't forget paste. that saying. Monk paste for the taste, Pope best for the zest. You'll want to crush up some dried dingo kidneys. Come on, bachelors. You know you have them. Look under the sofa cushions. I mean, can we yes, say enough we're putting about everything in tile it. shards? Obviously, we can. It has to have all the flavors Hand of the world. Or two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Uh, buffalo chips is uh, buffalo poop, if you didn't know. All right. Um... Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time. Ta-da! You've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's take it with us. Ah, uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Welcome once again to no, 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 I didn't. Without... Thank you. And no. What are we making? 
Um, a cake. Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. No more than a dash of uranium pellets. They also go great in Chex Mix. That's it. We've it's, already it's got that thing we made before. No, I ate it while you were looking at the ingredients. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are. <laughs> it's just lady. uranium pellets. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking showtime, one gorgeous, delicious cake, ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. <laughs> I think this is one of those cooler things they use on medical shows to transport donor spleens. What's it doing on the set of a cooking show? Some knowledge is better left unclaimed. He has a point. He has a point. All right, what other things do we have here? Right here. Mm-hmm. And we got this door. So there's another door over yonder. Huh, uh, huh. What's in here? What's in your wallet? I just don't see how you can sing. Oh, the judge. soda poppers! I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam. Do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the soda poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hell yeah. Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Oh, me, me! Yes. I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine, take a seat. <laughs> Goody, I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant. This one's going to be good. <clears throat> Peeper. Am I Charlie blue? Peeper. Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Yay! Look at these. Sure, take them. I've got them memorized. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Very impressive. Yoink. No thanks. No dice. How would you like to try out some new lyrics? No thanks. I only perform my own material. Hmm. All right, let's talk to him. Well, well, peepers, you underdeveloped former non-psychotherapist, you. What a treat to run across you again. I know we're going to beat I'm him up. I'm not sure if I ever properly thanked you for hitting me over the head recently. Repeatedly. No gratitude necessary. Just doing our jobs. Sure. It's what we do. How do you manage to hit those eardrum-scarring high notes? If you're implying that I use any artificial vocal enhancements, I don't. What you hear is pure peepers. That's almost exactly what I would have said. Your lyrics have an intriguingly vapid quality. Did you write them yourself? Of course! Any similarity to lyrics from other wildly popular songs is meant as homage, not theft. Makes sense, makes sense. I'm dying to know. Is there any truth to the rumors about lip-syncing on the old Soda Poppers TV show? We only did that on the released version. Oh. Really, is there any trick to hitting the high notes like you do? Look, I well, told the kid's like you, 50. I don't use any artificial vocal enhancement, and I resent the implication. I have a gift, that's all. I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing over here. Good luck. 
I don't need luck. Is that your mug? No, it was here when I got here, last week. Ew. No can do. Let us come back to this. Because I have a plan. A plan, a plan. A little sneaky plan of the sneaky variety. Hey, a perfect fit. Well, let's uh, let's let's try this one again. See if we can't mil win a million buckaroos. That. Welcome back. Our next contestants are these guys again. These guys. Okay, are you ready? Hmm. The question is, am I blue? No, Hugh. You're not blue. Oh dear! Oh me! Oh my! That's absolutely right! Woo! We won! Yes. Congratulations! You're a millionaire! We're rich! Filthy rich! We just We're went rich. bankrupt, so we We're will rich. not be back after these messages. Nope, don't I need don't to turn them blue. It. Well, this is awkward, but we don't actually have a million in cash. Sweet mother of all quiz show scandals. We'll have to give you a million dollars worth of food stamps. They're right over there. Hold on. Aww. Can you buy deep fried licorice ropes with food stamps? We'll take it. I'll take the case. One, two, three, 174, 175, 999,999, and a million. Let's go spend it, Sam. It's burning a hole in my pocket. It's putting quite a bulge in mine. <laughs> Uh, that's not all that's bulging in my pocket, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, Hugh Bliss, we've got something for you. No, 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 no gifts. All I need is love. All I need Sweet is love. love. Love, love. Yeah, he doesn't like cake, evidently. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, it's not going to work out for me. So let us go back to Sybils. Uh, turn in our beautiful little uh, pitcher. Maze Hughes, hey -o, With that mayo. Wait, no, I don't want to go here. Back to Bit now. Mid Midtown Cap Wars. Alright, okay. Here's the. What's that thing? I don't know. It was here when we took over the building after the dot-com bust. Okay, so this poker table is a reference to uh, Poker Night, which is another game which has Sam and Max in it. Uh, cooking show, game show, embarrassing idol. We don't need embarrassing idol. Um, don't need the cooking show. I could play Poker Night. I have, I, I believe I have one and two. I should have both. Hey, peepers. What do you want? I'll leave you to whatever. Good luck. All right. Well, let's let's talk to Whizzer. Last time we saw you, you and your diminutive former child star brothers were in the thrall of a megalomaniac hypnotist with bad hair. What have you been up to since then? Well, after you hit us over the head repeatedly, our careers have <laughs> taken an upswing. Clearly, brain hey, damage being works. Being a judge on Embarrassing Idol is a tremendous opportunity. I'm feeling the magic already. Tell me, old judge, what gruesome qualities do you look for in a singing performance? Fraternity. I'm voting for Peepers no matter what. He's my brother. 
The one who didn't forget my birthday today, I might add. I said I was sorry. Happy birthday. Thanks. I'm glad somebody remembered. I'm gonna I give him the cake. I said I was sorry. What more do you want? A treat would be nice. Isn't this also St. Boniface Day? Patron saint of carnivorous plants and spiky things? I think that's next week. St. Boniface Day. Interesting. What kind of perks go with this gig? Do you get fancy dressing rooms and candy sorted by color? Damn right Ooh, we do. craft services food. Have them bring me a roasted Canada goose stuffed with lightly bruised olives, please. Not likely. I ordered a cake for my birthday, but they never brought it. <laughs> well, I think the craft services crew all went in to watch the Myra show, like everybody else. All we got was a basket of tomatoes. Ugh. What's wrong with tomato? What kind of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? It's point. I like them just fine, but they don't like me. Oh. What do you mean? I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato uh -huh. on the plate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No more. That's, yeah. Yeah, you fell on that cucumber. I know. Uh-huh. That's exactly what happened. Can you eat those little cherry tomatoes? They're small. No! No tomatoes, tomato juice, tomato paste, nothing, or I'll be out of commission for hours. Enjoy your judging. Catch you later. Uh-huh. How about some cake? Cake? Oh, boy! Perfect for my birthday. There's no tomatoes in it, right? Nope. Jesus. <laughs> That's the same face I'm making right now. That was delicious. And a little bit scary. Yeah. You eat like Max. He looks like he ate the ass end of a, uh, well, an Isla Mao. What can you tell me about this contest you're judging? Not much to tell. People sing, we judge them. You want to know more? Ask the director. We judges don't have to concern I'll ourselves find some with tomatoes, operational don't worry. detail. Tell me about the criteria you use in judging a singing contest such as this one. I'm a stickler for technical proficiency. Usually I look for a high note. Someone who can hit a really high note always impresses me. Okay. I see. So, Wizard's birthday is today, huh? So see? I grab my nuts. Some Got it. people pay attention to these things. Oh, come on. I already said I was sorry for forgetting. If you'll excuse me, I've got some lines to color outside of. <laughs> it's your life. Damn right it's my life. Judge looks good on you, Max. Thanks. I hope it comes with lunch. Judge, jury, and executioner. Seems like a pretty cushy job you've got there. I hope somebody else comes to sing soon. I've got scathing insults and bombast that are itching to claw their way out of my throat. How is that any different from normal? It'll be on TV. Here's point. Don't let your passion for overzealous criticism get in the way of our primary goal here, little pal. I already forgot what that is. Myra Stump, holding the audience hostage? Oh, right. Sometimes my sponge is a little leaky. A fact I know <laughs> all too well. I think I'll poke. If you poke up some crullers, I want six. Yeah, we can do that. Case of fire. Okay, let's run back to Sybils. Let's get let's get our Isla Mao picture. All right, so. Whee! <laughs> Lefties, huh? All right, Sybil. We have some. Stupid, sexy Isla Mao pictures for you. Hey, guys. So, you're looking for a cover photo of little green men canoodling, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. though I'm kind of desperate at this point. Basically, I can use anything as long as there are three beings in the shot and at least one of them's an alien. It is the Alien Love Triangle Times, after all. Got it. I mean, we'll yeah. be back. Yeah, Keep casual parking on the curb. That's That's just what we do here. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial-related photographic evidence. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sybil, uh -huh. that photo is a hoax. Exactly. 
I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Da -da -da -da. Available at newsstands now. Wait. Do, do I hey get guys. something? We'll be back. Keep watching the. Oh, oh! I think I need to get a paper. Because that makes me famous or something like that. Alright, alright. I, I got it. Run. Run like you've never run before. Oh, Rompe Frinos. Thank you for the follow. It's only the finest work in journalism here on WBPL76. I will buy Hello, your stuff. Sir. What are old beans? Do you carry that most esteemed of tabloids, the Alien Love Triangle Times? Alien Love Triangle Times. No, I don't times. carry that propaganda. If it's filth you're after, check the newspaper box <sighs> outside. Fine. We want to buy something. Quite so. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Ah! Food stamps? Well, I suppose I must accept it. I mean, it's just like cash. Bandit dash government conspiracy. It's hogwash. Complete cod swallow. Cod swallow? Here, then, is your chemical-based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> I trust you. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. It works. Thanks, Bosco. Excellent. Well, now we can get the high note. Wee! <laughs> All right, let's let's get our nice We're our famous. nudie magazine. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Yes. Again. Run. Hey. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? Uh, the TV studio. The TV studio. Goody! Goody, goody, gumdrops. I mean, to be fair, it was like over ten years since like the original. So I mean, sometimes it just it just be like that. All right. So now we need to get like some tomato. I gotta put it in a cake for Weezer. All right, well, um, cooking show. Let's go to the cooking show. Wait, wait. Let's check here first. Do I have anything? Here, no, I don't. I don't believe so. All right, we're gonna go back here and go back. We're gonna go to the cooking show and see if we can't get something tomato, some tomato based. All right, let's look. Right, right. I'm looking for tomato. That's quite an assortment. Let's look they here. must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. I did already give him a cake, so okay. I guess we could try that. All right. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Okay. Now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! Action! Midtown Cowboys! 
Rootin' tootin' cowboys. Let's grab this plate. Who left this lying here? Quick. 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 Uh, Bassy. Bassy, don't. Alright, uh. Grab this. Okay, uh huh. No, shit. All right, I know you. Cut! Amateur. All right. Okay. Fine. I can't do that until we're ready. Let's have another go at. Okay. Now. Blah 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 Got a, a well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Colonel Sanders. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Colonel Sanders. Oh, Colonel Sanders? What? Cut. Oh, no, no, no. You've gone entirely too far. Comedy is comedy, but this, this is monstrous. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. <laughs> Uh, fine. I'll save the comedy for when the cameras are rolling. All right, all right, fine. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? See if you can... Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. All right, um... You've got a, a well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Um. This is my octogenarian uncle, Griswold, a retired chimney sweep from Lower Nebraska. Now he travels the world chasing cyclones in a mobile home. Excellent, well, a mobile a home ch meet, cyclone you, chase, sir. sir. I'm something of a twister buff myself. <laughs> Ever since I saw the Wizard of Oz Teddy when twisters. I was a boy. Goodness, who left this lying here? Yeah, blah, 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 Say, what's this? I'm sorry, what was that you said? Oh, no. He said moo. Philosophical musing on the deeper meanings of the shallower things. That's true. I see. I'm sorry. I'm just not sure where we're going with this. Can we start again? Cut. <sighs> Let's get. You are busting my balls, sir. Busting my balls. Just because he doesn't know comedy. Wait a second. What's with the pool of water? It's acid, Brain Freeze. Don't you ever watch the show? No. Alright, well, let's, uh... Hey, can I try my pipes out on this thing? Go right ahead. Frankly, we can use all the contestants we can muster. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Um. Love has a thorny backside. Ain't that the <clears> truth? <throat> Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. Thinking about the rings on oh, the great rack. Blowing like a zephyr on a dew. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo!
Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. Peepers is still getting my vote. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peepers is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh, what Remember, a Remember, folks, of on Embarrassing Idol, shit. the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting... And we're cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. <sighs> All right. Let's see. I know... Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. That would hardly be sporting. <laughs> I I wouldn't really. Would I? I mean... Nah. Nope. Alright, what else could we do? So... We have to poison him... Wait a moment. Maybe... I wonder if they have... Bosco's might have apples, but I just fucking... I just came from there! Um, I'll double check the cooking set, but I don't... I don't believe I saw any, but we'll look again. Mm, hey Sam, can I? No. Look, Diggs is playing this Carrick fridge Manchester. isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. This is quite realistic. Like that animatronic kid on the Cosby Show. I think this is one of those cooler things they use on medical shows to trans- What's it doing? Some knowledge- Uh, no. Cupboards are no-go. Hmm. I don't want to make anybody mad. Unless there's a reason, or it seems fun. Let's try. Yeah, Welcome let's... once again. Thank you. What are we making? Uh, today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. All right. Squid tip, buff chip, hair chop, street roofing dip, tweed, uranium pellets. Large monk pace. Huh. Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. Well said. Um. Maybe you want to use the sulfuric Fure acid. acid. Make sure to include. If there's not. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right, you and one gorgeous del. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. Let's go to Bosco's. I know, I, they're pretty acidic. I mean, I don't think this is going to do it, but we'll, we'll give him one. Come on, wizard. I have another cake. More cake for you? No tomatoes, right? Oh. <laughs> I mean, the last cake had everything, so... Uh, Excuse me. <sighs> okay. Time to go back to Bosco's. Gonna go to Bosco's. Gonna get me some tomatoes. Because it's uranium fever. Hello. Hello. Do you have uranium fever? Ketchup. Do you have ketchup? Hello, sir. What's up? 
We want to buy something. Hmm. Yeah. Do you have any fine leather? Uh, nope. Do you have uh, a nope? Do you have a nope? Do you have any a nope? Do you have any ketchup? ketchup? Nope. Oh, wait. Got you. Blast. Nothing for us right Indeed. now. Indeed. Thanks, Bosco. Hip hip. All right, let's uh ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'll need like a container or something. What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loathing Weekly? Hot Bunny? Ooh, let me see that. Hot Bunny? No, Self-Loathing Weekly. There's some tomatoes, but... Oh, man. <laughs> ah, Bilbo291. Thank you for the follow. Um... Where are we going, Sam? Back to the TV studio. studio. Goody! Yeah, make a cake and make uh, put ketchup on it. That's not a bad idea. We'll try that. Wait here, gentlemen. Wait here. Come on, hop, 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 hop. All right, all right. Uh, let's cook. Welcome on. once. Thank what are we blah, blah blah blah. Cake. Today we're. I'm pretty sure. Max. Let. Um. It's just MSG. Every chef has a signature. If you put in an. That's now it. Do we broil? Right, you and one. Go oh boy. All right, we got the cake. Now it's ketchup time. We we already he already ate so much lard and and pellets. It's not even funny. He's he can be used as fu uh, nuclear uh, fuel rods now. So uh, we we just don't we just don't tell the poor lad. Come on, come on. All right. To the cake of ketchup. It is, yeah, just an entire cake of MSG. Can you imagine? Hello. Uh, Bosco, not now. All right, all right. <laughs> a little ketchup is always good on a cake. It's true. All right, now we can go win the game show. We'll, we'll snort our pills, our boner pills, and uh, hit those high notes he wants. And we'll get little that that little popper jerk face. Where are we face. going, Sam? To the studio. The studio. La, 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 la. Come on. Come on. All right, buddy. Enjoy, my friend. Oh, boy! Birthday cake! That red frosty looks tasty. Trust me, it's delicious. <laughs> Love me some Fiesta Pale. Excuse me. Boy, that was really, uh, uh, really, uh, uh oh. Time out for number two. What the darn it? He'd better not be going to see Myra. Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me. All right, time to do our drugs.
Testing. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Time to hit these high notes, baby. Our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call. Um. Bottleneck on the freeway of doom. <coughs> Howling at that drippy old hunk of moon. Nice. She's at brunch today with some baboon. Oh. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear from our judges. I admire your courage even more than your singing. You've still got my vote. Thanks, little buddy. You really nailed that high note. Woo! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Woo! Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We Excellent. have a winner. No. Congratulations, yes. Sam. Here's your recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream Bin come bottom true. records. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Remember, folks, at Bin Bottom Red Records, you can sign a record deal the same day and get an Urban Mac. Not just one Urban just Mac, remember. but two and I a Hunchback with every fish. deal. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. Excellent, folks. Excellent. Let's see what we've got a recording contract. So now we just need to finish this one. All right. Let's get this. Let's have another go on at that scene, film. Right? Don't forget to work in Max's line. Better get the serious toothpaste. Okay, action. Action. Let there be light. There we go. Life of the party. Ha <laughs> ha! Aha! I know you've got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? The Prince of Umprothrombus, uh... This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a l'orange. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, extra crispy? A French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. Oh, I went to oh, Gaperie oh, oh. one time myself, you know? It was back in my army days. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's uh do something. Ah, nature. Um. Uh -uh. Damn it! All right, grab this Goodness, plate. Who left this lying here? All right, all right. No thanks. Come on. I don't care if it is just a. All right, all right, fine. Son of a bitch! I should have put the shit. Hey, what's this? <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that you said? He said Camus. It's a very short French tone poem entitled The Pen of My Aunt is on the Dresser of My Uncle. Except in French. Yes. I'm sorry. Cut. Oh, God <gasps> bless America. This, this bitch. Hi, Mom. Can we take five? The Screen Actors Guild will... 
Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Places, everybody. And action! Got it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Let there be light. French hat. There we go. Life of the park. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Mr. Cuckold is here. Aha! I know you've got a... Well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Uh, this uh, is the French chef we hired to chef. satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for uh, omelets and duck a la ronde. Chef. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Extra oh, crispy. A French chef, eh? I I went to gay per. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Um. That didn't work. No dice. <laughs> no can do. <laughs> okay, okay. That didn't work. All right, all right, all right. Goodness, who left this lying here? Okay, let's try this. Actually, you know what? This is a funny show. No Ed Care for a shave, Mr. Featherly? No. Shaving doesn't work too well on my skin, unfortunately. Too bad. Oh, fuck you. Say. Uh, I'm He said Camus. Except in French. Yes. I'm... All right. Mother trucker. Let's have enough. See if you can... Yes, yes, yes. We're working on it, people. We're working on it. It would let me use shaving cream on it. Alright, lampshade it is. Let there be light. On the cow. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. This Aha! Chubby little I bastard. Know you got a well, 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 who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and... And... Oh, I went to... Alright, maybe... The voice modulator to the cow. Nah. Motherfucker. I... These uh, are all the sort. English major. Competitive horseshoe skipping is a th even more. Some say that. All right. Um. Jeebus. That didn't work. Hello. This could use some okay. sprucing up. Whatever happened to I refuse say no more. Alright, let's let's grab the plate. Maybe it's something Goodness, there. Who left this? I'll need it for something. The cow's already got it. Maybe. I know. We'll give him the empty plate. Can I offer you an empty plate? What good's a plate with no f It's brimming with upper- No thanks! God... Please. Say! It wouldn't let me take the rope. It wasn't an option. Uh, he yeah. said moo goo I know, you don't get it. And the gr Okay, cut! <sighs> Let's get-
Let's have another go. Don't forget. We'll try again. Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. Maybe. Maybe we shaving cream him. Aha! Um. It's jolly old Saint Nick. It is. Oh, Santa! I want a new semi-automatic pistol with armor-piercing bullets, laser scope, okay. and a picture okay. of Jennifer Lopez engraved on the handle. It's not really Santa Claus, butthead. We're shooting a TV show, remember? Caught! Please don't say cut. How am I expected to create art if you're... He's right, guys. You can... <gasps> I give you art, and what do you do? You shit all over it. Let's have another... Places. All right, fine. I'll give him the fucking half. You happy now? Game. Open up in there. Next thing you know, you'll Let's be wanting, you like, like, some sort of, like, you know, hippity-hoppity, get-on-my-property type deal. There, Mr. Cow. Take your freaking hat. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Mr. Mr. Waddles' ass over here uh -huh. coming in, I know knocking my it. shit down. Well, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Talk the to the cow we've been raising here in the apartment with a lampshade on its head. We put it on there to fool you into thinking the cow was someone else. Caught. Please. Fuck. <laughs> He's right. <gasps> I, in my furious clicking, I actually clicked <laughs> the wrong thing. Let's have another go. See if you can squeeze oh, in. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, we'll get this. No worries. Alright, one more time. Into the breach. There be light. Alright. Cow. It is time. There we go. Life of the party. This is the French chef we hired. And frog's leg. Oh, I went to gay per- Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Goodness, who left this lying here? We're yoinking the plate. We're going to be a lamp. Hello? Maybe. Nope. Uh-uh. Okay, -uh. see, nothing to do with the rope. Can't do anything with rope. In Manhattan, this counts as... If there's a lip... Okay. How convenient. And if the show... Best leave it... That's not gonna work. The cow's already got a disguise. cow's got a disguise. So it has to be something with his his freaking tail. No thanks. Okay. No dice. No can do. Okay. Nah. Nope. So he needs something for his tail, but what? I don't know. Uh-uh. Maybe, maybe we just shoot the little shit. No, when I put the cow patty on the plate, it immediately goes to a cutscene and I can't do anything. So, no, I can't. That's not the right order. I have to do something with his tail first because he, he goes up to that next. Better get the serious toothpaste. Hey, that's my line. Oh, cut. Hey, well, that pissed him off. I'm afraid you've delivered the sponsor's line at a comically inopportune moment. Wait for me to do something that might call for that line to be said. Gotcha. <gasps> Let's get. Yeah, I'm definitely missing something. Cause can't do anything with that. Nothing on the coat rack. The cow.
Yeah, we, we just don't have the middle, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something in the game show. Oh, wait. Shit, I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm so dumb. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, how about another picture, Hugh Bliss? How about this? Instead of a new... No, shut sure, up. Whatever. Just gather... Just give me the photo. All right. So what... Bye. Now remember, what do cows hate? They hate the color red. So we're going to show the cow something red and piss him the fuck off. Let's have another go at that scene. Shall Don't forget to work in Max's line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, I got it. I got it. I know what I'm doing. It's not a stretch. Don't, don't bust my balls here. I got, I got a plan. Let there be light. All right. Here. There we go. Life of the party. Yeah. All right. Come on, waddle my tits. Get in here. Aha. I know you've got a, a well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a l'orange. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French. I can't play the French cow fries? patty first. I went to. No thanks. If I give you our headshot, will you pass it on to your agent? <laughs> For goodness sakes! Okay. Testing. One, two, three. Have you heard the one about the three firemen and the football? <laughs> Please, this isn't that sort of cut. <sighs> All right, waving it in front of the cow, huh? Well, it didn't like it when I waved. It tried to give him the picture, so it's something else. Let's go back to the game show. Get some of the millionaire sign. Who's never going to be a millionaire? Good old W A R P, where no horse is so dead they can't beat it a few more times. It can't be plated. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Every time you plate it, it it he goes to the tail. So I have to do something with the tail That's before I can do anything. All right, maybe How about I could... another picture, Hugh Bliss? Of course. No, I didn't want. I didn't. I didn't want that one hi Hugh. hi i'm Hugh. yeah yeah um i challenge you to okay pick a c all right uh do blue, blue. Hugh. oh say you bliss splendid idea but how will you buy okay say chocolate cup Okay, we got a so blue the picture. picture, Magic Man. Oh. What's the story on? Prismatology is only the greatest intellectual, emotional, and spiritual revolution ever to grace this fair planet. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank goodness we have someone who can give an impartial assessment. It's true. Shh. Tell us more. Join Prismatology today, and you too can experience the magic of true bliss. That goes against everything I've ever hoped for. And yet now I'm strangely attracted to the notion. Snap out of it, little buddy. We've got a case to solve. <sniffs> Bye. Oh, Grubfist is ready. The channel seven viewers, welcome to Sam and Max Save the World. 
on WBPL76. Right now, we're pounding our head against some fun stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you guys could make it. Let's, uh, let's cook something up. Alright. We will cook something. Welcome once again. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes. What are we making? Uh, let's make a we casserole. We're making a delicious casserole. Let's just go to our trusty ingredient rack and select some savories for our all-purpose thingamawatsit. It's a pot, Sam. Sure it is, little buddy. And you're a kettle. Really? It's the first time you saw any Sam and Maxwell? I mean, you're in for some luck. No more than a dash of uranium pellets. They also go great in Chex Mix. Um... Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's yeah, not he, he didn't like uh, Mugu Kai Pan. A handful or two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Oh yeah, Gruffus, that was uh, that was episode one. This is episode two. There's like uh, tentacles. I don't know, like 15 Ooh, episodes, and Western. I'm gonna go through them all. So uh, you'll want to crush up some dried dingo. Get kidneys. ready. Come on, bachelors. You know you have them. Look under the sofa cushions. Wait, now, wait. Do we broil it, Sam? So what right you're saying you are, little buddy. Into the is goes. when he goes and to the tail, if you say Mugu Guy Pan, time. he should eat You've the cow pie and the say the toothpaste. And okay. Oh, boy. All right, fine. We shall see. We shall see. All right, all right. Come on, take 57. Let's have another. Places. Midtown Cowboys, it is the time. Yeah, we're going to have our French. Don't worry, but Mr. Uh, Cockswaddle. We're going to have the cow chef. Cow chef. There you go, cow. You ready for this? Pacha. There we go. Life of the party. Life of the party. Mr. Cockswaddle, how are you? Your waddle is cocky. Aha! I know you've got a... a well, well, well. Who's your guest, <laughs> yeah. This is uh, our chef. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a l'orange. And duck. frog's legs. I like orange. mine extra crispy. Oh, oh, oh. I went to gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Goodness, who left this lying here? So we'll grab this. We'll go with your suggestion. We'll we'll put the plate on the cow patty. He's gonna come to the ta the tail. Come on, Mr. Cockswaddle. Say, what's this? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that you said? He said moo goo gai pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Whoa, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. Aha! Hmm, interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. This moo moo Max. whatever stuff is really good. Come on. What's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like... <laughs> <laughs> Shit eating grin. <laughs> Save the line. Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Zoom in. And cut. Phew. Alright, now I that feel like an idiot. Gold. The network is going to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. He's rubbing his cloaca. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Awesome. Well, let's just fuck right off. All 
All right, now we can go talk to uh, Wonder Tits over here. Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. Um, can't. May we appear as guests on your show? I accept that talking about myself. It's true, Are he you does. Famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition, or there ought to be a law kind of way. Not That's true. Enough. Internet petition. I'll yeah. need evidence yeah. of your explosive star power. Oh, it's explosive, all right. Restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract for one thing. Well, what if we recording contract and a clip from your hit TV show? You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. Oh, I recording got that. Contract, TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet, but I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have okay. to be scandalized. I got all three of those. Cause, what kind of show do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Uh, Look, he has it's a point. very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, is that all? That's all. We do have a recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. Bin Take Bottom Records. Know about having us appear when are you scraping the bottle of the Not barrel? So that's been bottom nice records stage. for you. Also need a clip we got everything you need or want. Well evidence of a good scandal. Fame is a distressingly exact mistress. There you go, dear. Although I strongly disapprove, having a mistress is an excellent start to a scandal. The public enjoys a good love triangle. Oh, it's a devil's triangle, all right. As it happens, we brought a clip of our wacky hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. We're the stars. Hmm. Midtown Your Cowboys. Is less and less marginal all the time. Don't worry, Myra. It's We're the uh, Brokeback Mountain heart. of yes, uh, Midtown Cowboys. Much, but get yourselves involved in a newsworthy scandal, and you can be guests. Trust me, it's it's a scandal. We caught uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Cuckold over there rubbing his cloaca. Actually, and his, we've uh, the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love yeah, Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? Alien Love Triangle we'll Times. Have us on your show now, beep, yes? boop, 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 Oh, I suppose so. If only so I can talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Mm, Yay! Depravity. Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior <laughs> and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. Okay, I can do While you're on all my those. show, you stay in your seats at all uh, times. Please stop elaborating. You do not interrupt me okay, when I'm talking I, I, and I you treat the I audience with the utmost respect, even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now... I'll call you on stage in a minute. Gosh, Max. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. So have I. So have I, Max. <laughs> You don't everyone. say. Bessie Bovine reading from her new book, The Heart Has Four Stomachs, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood, out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've Just dump some water on it and it'll be good to go. The canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Freelance Police. Freeze! Shazbot. Hey, ride, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down <laughs> like ducks in a gutter. Hold it! My guests sit at that end. But that bear has got you. Sit. We'll oh, just shit. sit where you want us to, man. She's gonna eat me. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. We're gonna have to play along. Sam and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the like entertainment world by storm. Like a blind man in an orgy, so I'm gonna have to feel my way around. I hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. There's something you should know about that picture in the Times. I'm not sure. I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. Damn right. But the Elbow photo deep. is not quite what it seems. How so?
It's not a picture of an alien at all. That's Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss? The highly respected founder of Prismatology? Don't be ridiculous. Why, I've had him on my show before, and he certainly isn't green. What are you really hiding? Ooh, I don't like that. How much I'm scared of being buffeted by another gust of Hurricane Myra? Flattery will get you nowhere, mister. I don't know about you, audience, but as a girl, I was taught that flattery was the worst possible way to blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. Flattery will get you everywhere. Alright, I got this. Put that away right Shit. now. Alright, I got this. I'm wise in front of a live studio audience. Come on. We brought you something to eat. Good gracious, no. Never on camera. Mr. Stinky Ass, thanks for the follow. You've come to the right place. Oh, yeah? I'd like to show you this photo of us. I think we've all seen enough photos of you already. Shit, lady. It's just my butthole. I'm talking. I'm not touching that thing. I'd probably get shocked. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing uh -huh, the alien uh -huh, love uh -huh. triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. You're right. It is a pretty nasty, scandalous affair with, the, you know, hands deep in alien uh, uh, testing. There's right. more you sh What's that? It doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. That's right. <gasps> yeah. How shocking. Who, Who do you think you took the picture? Philo Pennyworth. Oh, As I'm sure most of you know, Mr. Cloaca Rubber. is the actor who plays Mr. Featherly on Midtown Cowboys. And we happen to have him backstage. Let's bring him out. Philo, give us your side. Is it true? Myra, please, of course not. I'm a veteran of the British stage. I'd never be caught cavorting with a dog, a rabbit, and an alien. It's so 1997. Uh, yes. I doubt we'll hear a more terrifying denial. This year, anyone who is anyone is all about birds of prey, ring-tailed lemurs, and Bigfoot. No one will ever take you seriously at the Globe Theatre otherwise. And there you have it. I'm so shocked, I'm going to talk for at least the next five minutes about blah, 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 yak, yak, yak. All right, blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Sing? I'll sing, mother truckers. Testing, one, two, three. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, yes. I'd like to sing, if I may. Is that wise? Yes. At that drippy old hunk of moon. Moon. Whoa, careful there, ah, Tiger. some wee wee see. That was wonderful. I'm so moved, I almost don't have it a is. long head. It is. I believe so, yeah. 97. Me. Oh, no, wait. There it is. Thank goodness. Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. Blah, 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 yak, yak. Mind if I sing again? I wish you wouldn't, dear. I only have so many drinking glasses, and I was planning on giving them to my lovely audience. Darn. I was starting to enjoy the misplaced adulation. Ah! Let the band <laughs> sing! Ah, yeah. I'd rather talk about our smash hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. Midtown Cowboys. Okay, let's talk. You two have become the new breakout stars of a flaccid, dissolute sitcom in its final days. How wonderful for you. Thanks. We brought a clip. You certainly did. I had a chance to watch it, and I refused to show it to my audience. Oh! It has a shocking joke involving a cow pie. Yeah. It's a sad commentary on today's culture when the cow pie, once a staple of the American diet, blah, 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 yak, blah, yak, Gave me a shitty grin. Yak, yak, yak. I see why Myra only lets big stars on her show. They're easier targets? If you're big enough, there still might be something left when she's finished. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> ah, yes. Mind if I sing again? I wish you wouldn't, dear. Darn. Blah, blah, blah. Right, uh, yeah, no, okay. Ah, yeah. Fine. There's more. What's that? There are so <gasps> Incredible. Bessie, Bessie the Cow. Bovine, our co-star on Mid- <gasps> Oh, my. Yeah. Lions. Shall we bring <laughs> him back out again? Yep. Yeah. 
At the risk of making the obvious comment, that was shocking. Is she breathing? A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nice. Nuts. I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another Ooh. glorious dream bangs its chin on the dirty pavement. On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. Woo! Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, I don't think so, little buddy. Unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Complete coincidence? I think yes, not. I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking His of point. things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. Empty popcorn cartons and cigarette butts. And processed bread logs loaded with tranquilizers and antidepressants. Bread logs processed make bread logs? Let's head back to the cooking show set and see if we can figure out how to make fried pork rinds. Almost okay, like it's uh, maple bacon beef logs. Breakfast maple bacon, be bacon beef logs. Rowdy star. And that was episode two of Sam and Max Save the World. So, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to call it an evening here. Uh, but I, I plan to at least maybe, like, depending on how fast uh, I get these, I might do one or two of these a night. Like I said, we have like 15 of them. Uh, you are uh, Balenciaga, AK. Okay. I don't, I don't know what Balenciaga is. Uh, oh, I took long enough. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, sometimes I like to click around and see the jokes, you know, because I think it's actually funny because half the time it's not just finishing the story. It's the adventure in between. And that's really a, a big part of point-and-click adventures, especially with these type of narrative ones. The jokes are all worth it. I mean, yeah. Uh... You know, it, I mean, same with, like, I played Stray. When I played Stray, I played, oh, man, way longer than it takes to beat the game. But that, that you miss a lot. You just don't... I mean, <sighs> that's what a lot of people don't get about, like, point-and-click adventures, is sometimes it's 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 about the adventure. Get a little bit of adventure. You know, uh, you know, get your own dialogue in there. Wear rubber gloves. You know, uh, put on your protection. You know, you gotta, you gotta make sure that everything's all right and, and makes you nice and safe. So, yeah, uh, racing is for racing games and, and, you know, losing your virginity. Uh, so, hey, look at that. Look at this unicorn. Interesting. Midtown Cowboys. Um, yeah. So, next week, I'll, I'm gonna continue on with these. We're gonna finish them all, I think. Uh... I've actually never finished like the last like two or three, so it'll actually be my first time finishing those. And I haven't played these in a long time, and I played all these with my kids when they were little ones. We'd watch the cartoon show and then we'd play through these together. And all my kids love Sam and Max, so they thought it was hilarious. Their their favorite, of course, was always Max, and and they're always like, "Dad, you're Sam." <laughs> And I always call my sons my little buddy, and my daughter would be like, what am I? And I'm like, you're stinky. And she'd be like, dad. So that was always fun. Um, but yeah, some other things I might do at some point is uh, I might install World of Tanks again, and you get to see me play poorly because I haven't played in years. But um, yeah, I, I like I said, I used to do it for money. So it's not like... The game has drastically changed so much that it, it can't be fun. I, I'm glad you could see Sam and Max for... It is such a wonderful game. Like, it... I remember when the first game came out of Sam and Max. Uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road. And I might pick up Sam and Max Hit the Road because, believe it or not, I never actually played through it. I watched my brother play through it a uh, long time ago. So, uh, that would be worth picking up and watching at some point, or playing through at some point. Uh, I don't know if they've done a remaster of that or not. That's something to look into. Uh, but if anyone has any ideas or wants to see some things, you can always talk to me. I'm out in the ox. Uh, Game Grumps did one. Yeah, cool. Game Grumps. Um, but yeah, I hope you've had a wonderful evening here. Uh, I know normally we stream a little bit longer, but one, this one took me a little bit longer because of that 
frickin' chicken show. Uh, but that's okay. That's that's kind of also part of the fun, is pounding your head angrily and frustratingly against the keyboard, trying to figure out what the hell you're doing wrong and going through every option. But yeah, the chicken show killed us. <laughs> killed like 30 minutes time, but that's how it is. Like, the, the game can be quickly done in an hour if you don't do all the extra stuff, and three hours if you get stuck somewhere, typically. Otherwise, you have to brute force your way through. But this has been AK Lone Wolf with WBPL76. I'll catch you next week on Sam and Max Save the World. Stay good, everybody.